good afternoon or morning or whatever time it is at wherever you are in this world. Thank you for joining me for another installment of Cosmetology Exam Review, where I am helping you prepare for your cosmetology theory state exam. There is so much out there to assist you in preparing for your hands-on exam, but where we kind of miss the buck as educators is prepping you for that theory portion. And it's just as important because while doing great hair is important, understanding why we do what we do is just as important. So here I am today. I am trying some new recording software, so bear with me. It's going to be like find the bouncing Teresa head throughout the slides, but I'm excited to try something new, okay? So today we are going to talk about the keratin protein. This is going to be a pretty quick video and we're really going to just break down the pieces of the keratin protein and what they do, what their function is, all right? You have seen this information in my videos when it comes to chemical texture. I talk a lot about it because this is what the proteins of the hair are made up of. It's keratin proteins. This is the building blocks of your hair. But what I've been trying to do for 2023 is to take some of the snippets of my bigger videos and break them down into bite-sized pieces for you. So that's what today is all about, understanding that keratin protein, okay? Again, today's about science. It's all about science. I have to start by kind of reminding you that I do have a full program out there called Cosmetology Exam Review, okay? This comes with 75 different practice tests. So I wrote thousands of test questions, both from Miladies and Pivot Points. So it does not matter which textbook you used for school. There's 12 explainer videos and I approach it differently than the books do. I really kind of comb through what I think is most likely to appear on your state exam, okay? So I don't go into a lot of the fluff that's great to know as a technician. It's really about what's on your state board, okay? Doesn't matter what state you're in. So if you feel like you need some help, you need some review material, go check out Cosmetology Exam Review. Okay, now let's talk about keratin proteins, all right? We're going to do things a little bit differently than how I normally present this material. And we're first going to just go into the vocab, all right? We're going to do a very brief overview of vocab, and then we're going to put it all together and build our protein, all right? We start with the amino acids. These are your building blocks. These are your Lego bricks, okay? So these are what kind of build your keratin protein. This is what builds the protein of your hair, your skin, your nails, okay? Your amino acids. Then you have bonds. Bonds connect the amino acids together. These connect the building blocks together, all right? And then you have your chains. This connects the connections, all right? So your chains are when you take your amino acids and your bonds and you connect those together to make big, long chains, all right? Let's break that down a little bit further. We start with the amino acid, okay? Amino acids are the molecules that come together to actually form a protein. Now, there are over 500 amino acids found in nature, but only 20 of them are actually found in the human body. Now, your textbook says 19, but there's actually 20 according to today's research that I found, all right? Now, don't worry. You don't have to memorize 20 different amino acids. You got to memorize about five of them that are going to appear in the keratin protein in some way. You also don't need to memorize where they sit on that keratin protein. You just have to recognize that they appear. Those five are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. So the good news is, is they're not weird ones, right? These are things you've heard of. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Now, one of the textbook companies has kind of put this together in this awesome little word called cones for you. A little bit easier to remember if you can kind of group them together into that word cones, C-O-H-N-S. Need something else to help you remember those words or those letters? So I came up with this. Creating outstanding, I don't know if I could speak, creating outstanding hair needs science. Creating outstanding hair needs science. Cones, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur. Creating outstanding hair needs science. Cones, try to memorize those phrases. So growing up, I learned how to play piano. So I was a classical piano player my entire life. And we used to learn all these different things to help us remember the, you know, the letters associated with the keys. And so here's another one of those things, okay? Cones, creating outstanding hair needs science carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur. Those are your amino acids, which are the building blocks of that keratin protein. Then we get into your bonds, and there are four types of bonds in the keratin protein. Bonds are the glue that hold everything together, okay? So we have a category of bonds in our keratin protein called side bonds, okay? We have three different types of side bonds. 
The first is the hydrogen bond. Now a hydrogen bond is broken by heat and water. So every time we wash our hair, every time we pull a flat iron through our hair, we break the hydrogen bonds. Once it dries, once it cools back down, they form right back together. Okay, so we break these on the regs. I mean, pretty much every single day we break those hydrogen bonds. The next type of side bond is a salt bond, okay? So the salt bond is broken by a change in pH. Now, once again, anytime we wet the hair, we have likely changed the pH of the hair. So remember, the pH of your hair naturally is about a 4.5 to 5.5. pH of water is seven. So anytime we wet the hair, we've changed the pH, which means we've broken all of those salts and really those hydrogen bonds. So this is how we're able to actually style the hair and get that temporary change when we do like a blow dry style right because when we wet that hair we've broken two of the three side bonds out there and reshaped them into a new shape simply by drying it okay so those two bonds are pretty weak we break them all the time we break them almost every single day they go right back together and there's a ton of them in your hair the third type of side bond is a disulfide bond, okay? A disulfide bond is a little bit more difficult to break because now we need chemicals. They are a lot more rare. They are not as common as those salt and those hydrogen bonds. So there's fewer of them throughout the hair, but we do need chemicals. We find a disulfide bond whenever those amino acids have sulfur involved, okay? If there's sulfur involved in that amino acid, we're gonna have a disulfide bond, okay? This is when we need to introduce things like perming solution or relaxer solution to actually break the bond and restructure. This is how we make permanent changes to the texture of the hair is through the breaking of the disulfide bond. We break that through chemicals. So those are your three side bonds. The last type of bond is an end bond, which is your peptide bond. The peptide bond actually connects one amino acid to the other amino acid. And we're going to get through, like I said here in a second, I'm going to kind of build the protein out for you. But the peptide bond, its job is just to connect one amino acid to the other. We don't want to break a peptide bond. If we break a peptide bond, we've broken the hair, okay? So you don't wanna mess with breaking these peptide bonds, these end bonds, that's not a good idea. If you start breaking them, then the hair is probably on the floor, okay? So those are your four bonds. You have your salt bonds, your hydrogen bonds, your disulfide bonds, and finally those peptide bonds. Let's put it together, okay? So as we put this all together, here we go. Here is our amino acids, right? Those amino acids are made up of those five amino acids that we talked about, cones, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, okay? They are connected by those peptide bonds or those end bonds, okay? So from side to side, from end to end, those amino acids are connected by those peptide bonds. Now, when you've got a row of amino acids connected by those peptide bonds, you get something called a polypeptide chain because it's a chain right? It is a chain of peptide bonds. It is a chain of amino acids, okay? Poly means many, so many peptide bonds. So there's your polypeptide chain. Now, when we get two of these polypeptide chains kind of lined up next to each other, they kind of line up like a ladder, and those side bonds that we mentioned connect them to each other. So the rungs of the ladder are your side bonds, and that's where we start to see that salt bond that we mentioned, that hydrogen bond that we mentioned, and of course, that disulfide bond that we mentioned, okay? So those side bonds connect the side of one polypeptide chain to the side of another polypeptide chain, okay? So those are your side bonds, all right? And there it is. That's your keratin protein. Now, let me be clear really quick that it is not three amino acids on top three amino acids on the bottom, and there's a keratin. This is millions, right? This is like dino DNA, right? This is a, a double helix, like crazy, you know, chain of amino acids. I can't illustrate that though on a video, so this is what you're getting from me. But this is your basic fundamental keratin protein. Super important that you understand that this is what this looks like so that you can actually manipulate the hair and texture and you can protect this protein. Because if we don't protect it and we break it, now we don't have hair left on the head, okay? We need to know that keratin protein and what we're doing to it so that we can perform those texture services, so that we understand those smoothing treatments, so that we can even do a blow dry style without damaging the hair. It's all about understanding the integrity of that hair and keeping it intact. Finally, keratin also makes up our skin and our nails. So understanding the protein and how it's built 
allows us to understand what we're doing when we, we manipulate these things, okay? So with that, I give you the keratin protein. It's just that simple. Watch this a few times. Make sure you understand the components. This will absolutely be on your state board. I don't care what state you're in, it's going to be there. If you need a little bit more information than this, Remember, I do have a website called Cosmetology Exam Review. From there, you can purchase the entire package. I have an annual package. I have monthly subscriptions, all different things you can do. Or you can actually hone in on just a topic. If you just need to review science, you can just buy the science module. If you just need to do nail disorders, you can just do the disorders chapter. So whatever you want to do, whatever works for you, I've tried to customize it for you. So if you need some help, go look at that. Or just subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to create as much as I can. It's just little old me trying to create, trying to give you the tools that you need. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like, and make sure you share with all of your friends, all of your classmates, and tell your teacher about my page so that they share it because I'm really here to help. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day.